Hello. In this video, I will review over how to input a contingency table into StatCrunch. So once you have the data instead of StatCrunch, we are going to go to Stat, Tables, Contingency, and depending on how, what type of data you're using, it's either going to be with data if you just have the raw data, or since we already have the frequencies in this example, we are going to go with with summary. We're going to choose the column variable, in this case gender, both female and male, and the row labels will be the party. Clicking on compute will give us the marginal frequency of the table. Right, just adding down the columns for the gender variables. The total is being 415 female, 400 male, and then the row totals for the um, party affiliation. So 230 Republicans, 256 Democrats, and 329 independents. Altogether, 815 were surveyed for this. So if we go and choose percent of total as a display for this, it will give us now the marginal relative frequency for the table, again based upon the total uh, row and column here. We could see that 50.92% of the uh, respondents to this particular survey were female, 49.8 were male, 28.22 were Republican, 31.41% were Democrat, and 40.37% were Independent. Now, depending on the type of, um, depending on what we want to use as an explanatory variable, if we choose gender as an explanatory variable, then we could choose column percent to get, to obtain the percentages from the contingency table based upon gender as an explanatory variable. So based upon here, we have 26.51% of all females are Republican. 37.35% of all females are Democrat, and 36.14% of all females are Independent. Likewise, 30% of males are, are Republican, 25.25% are Democrat, and 44.75% are Independent, based upon this contingency table. Likewise, if we treat the uh, party affiliation as our explanatory variable. We could change that to row percent and obtain now the distribution for the row percentages. So we have 47.83% of females are Republican, 50, sorry, 47.83% of Republicans are female, 52.17% of Republicans are male. 60.55% of Democrats are female, 39.45% of Democrats are male, 45.59% of Independents are female, and 54.41% of Independents are male. Now, based upon this contingency table, aside from doing this, we could also graph it. Again, depending on what we want as our explanatory variable. To do this, we want to go to Applets, Contingency Table. Now, we do have to define everything for this. So, like the row labels for this are Republican, Democrat, uh, and Independent. Likewise, the column labels are female and male. The row variable is party affiliation. Column variable is gender. We can also give it a title if we want. 
So if we can hit compute, we can then copy the data into the table down here. And then we'll automatically fill in these totals. So 110, 120, 155, 101, 150, and 179. Now, depending on if we what we want to do, so if we, for example, take the party affiliation as our explanatory variable, the stacked or segmented bar graph based upon that is underneath row distribution, and that will be as such. If we take the gender as our explanatory variable, that will be column distribution, and it will show those percentages again in a stacked or segmented bar graph.